Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga. I hope you are having a fantastic day and today is going to be fun. We are going to take flight. So we're going to do all kinds of poses that have to do with flying. Um, so embrace, enjoy, laugh, have fun, just do your very best and uh, modify where you need to. Take advantage of all of the things that feel amazing and opt out of the things that aren't great today. All right, so we're going to take our hands down by our sides and we're going to sit up nice and tall. Let's close those eyes. Hopefully you've already got a smile on your face. Uh, if not, I hope we find one along the way. As you exhale, gently tip your chin towards your chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall and as you exhale, lean your head to the right. Oh, that feels good. Inhale back to center and exhale, lean your head to the left. And inhale it back to center. One more time, we take it to the right. And back to center and to the left. And inhale it back to center. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, open those arms out to a T. And as you exhale, rotate your body. Doesn't matter which direction, just keep that length in the spine. Inhale it back to center and exhale, rotate to the other direction. Just make sure you're staying long through that spine. Inhale back to center. One more time each direction. We just have a tendency to kind of lean back and hollow through the tummy and chest as we rotate back to center. And one more time in that other direction. And inhale it back to center. Release that right hand down, left arm up and over. And we sway side to side. So we want to make sure that we're warming up the body, just taking it at your pace. Big, full, deep exhales as you lean. Inhale back to center one more time each side. So we'll get into some fairly intense poses. Good balancing. Oh, it's going to be fun, you guys. I'm excited. Glad to have you here one more time each side. Mm, back to center and one more time to the left. And inhale back, reach to the sky, and exhale, release those arms down by your sides. Let's come up onto all fours, to tabletop, hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width apart, core is strong. We inhale and extend, left arm and right leg, bird dog. Lengthening, reaching, lifting out of the right shoulder, out of flex of that right foot. We're gonna slowly tap and lift back to neutral. We wanna make sure we're not arching the back. Inhale, tap. And exhale back to neutral. We tap and lift one more time. Tap and lift. Go ahead and release that left hand. Cross that right leg up and over the left. We turn and look over that left shoulder. Pressing the hips to the right just a little bit, creating a crescent shape with the spine. A nice stretch all the way down that right side. We bring our gaze back to center and that right leg back to center and release it down. Other side, inhale it up, right arm and left leg, lengthening, reaching, lifting out of that left shoulder, out of flex of that left foot. We inhale and lower and lift, lower and lift. One more time, lower and lift, lower. And lift, release, right hand down, left leg crosses up and over, and we turn and take our gaze out over that right shoulder. That feels so good. Breathe. We gaze back to center, lifting that left leg back to neutral, and release it down. Let's sit it back to child's pose. Finding your breath, slowing it down. Now we may not hit all of the poses that have to do with flying, flight, bugs, all that kind of stuff, but we're going to hit a fair amount of them. Great. So if you want to add in any extras, yes, you can absolutely do that. After we are done, I encourage you to do that. A sense of freedom, spirit, energy, playfulness and fun, never a bad thing. Extending those arms out nice and long, hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide, let's lift the forehead, tuck those toes, press and lift your hips to the sky. Breathe. We inhale it to high plank, warming up through the shoulders and the hips. 
And as you exhale, come back to down dog. We inhale it to high plank. And exhale it to down dog. I hope your day is going well. One more time, inhale to plank. And exhale to down dog. Breathe, taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. Exhale, left arm down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, other side, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. Pull the hands to heart center, rock back to your heels, bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, sweep the arms back to flight as you hinge forward to airplane. Rolling those shoulders back, lengthening through the fingertips. Turn your palms towards the sky, spread your fingers wide and reach. Breathe. Aware of where your weight is distributed in those feet. We rotate palms towards the ground, spread your fingers wide. We open those arms out to a T. Find a focal point out in front of you and slowly shift your weight forward, lifting your heels. Find your breath. Slowly releasing the heels back down. Shift your weight back towards those heels. Turn your palms to the sky as those arms sweep back to flight. Sweeping the hands down by your knees, we sit to chair. Breathe, inhale, rise, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, arch it back. Fingertips are spread wide, palms are gently touching, we arch it back. Inhaling it up nice and tall, pull the hands to heart center, rock back to your heels, open those feet to mountain. Inhale, reach, and exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, walk, step, or hop. A high plank. Breathe. Shift your weight to your left foot. Right leg extends, lifting. Flex your foot. Shifting your weight to your right hand if you like, extending that left arm for a bigger variation of our bird dog. Core stability through the shoulder. Find your breath and release. Shift your weight to your right foot. Left leg lifts. Flex your foot. Core strong, shift your weight to your left hand, and if you like, extend that right arm out. Breathe. And release, lift your hips to down dog. Adding a little tip of the pelvis, reach your sit bones high. Inhale it to high plank, toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. As you exhale, circle the arms around behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Roll those shoulders back and down. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, arch it back. Gaze to the sky. Inhaling it up nice and tall, and exhale, lift your arms without popping the ribcage open, long through the spine. As you exhale, pull the hands to the left hip, bending at the elbows. We turn and take our gaze out over that left shoulder. Little tuck of your chin down towards that left collarbone. Just preparing the body for some deeper stretches, some more intense pose. We lift our gaze, turn it back to face front. Extend those arms out, lift them high. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, pull the hands to the right hip. And we turn and take our gaze out over that right shoulder, little tuck of your chin towards your right collarbone. We once again lift our gaze, turn it back to face front. Extend those arms once again, lift them high, and slowly release your hands down. Release those hands, roll the shoulders up and back to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky, and exhale, swan dive 
to forward fold. Inhale, lift to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Optional push up if you like. To down dog. Find your breath. Add a little tip of the pelvis, reach your sit bones high, checking in with those hamstrings, the calves. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Breathe, circle the arms back and up overhead to our crescent lunge. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Open those arms out to a T. Find a focal point out in front of you. Shift your weight forward and up to warrior three. Square the pelvis, flex that left foot and hinge as deeply into warrior three as you wish. Arms extended out to a T or back to flight. Find that space that feels right to you. Challenge yourself, bending that supporting leg, giant step back to warrior one. Back leg long and strong. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten, and exhale, sink. Stay low, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, open to warrior two, hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Gaze out over your front middle finger. Right elbow, right knee, left arm circles up and over. Long diagonal line, all the way down that left side. We circle that left arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back, right hand reaching in front and through. Can you find your fingertips? Lock them if you can find them. Take your gaze up over that left shoulder. You can choose to stay here or we head to Bird of Paradise, taking your gaze out in front of those right toes. We shift our weight forward, drawing that back foot in. Now shifting your weight back to that back foot, right toes gently touching. If you're ready, slowly begin to rise and extend that right leg, flex your foot, breathe. It doesn't have to be beautiful, guys. Do your best. Once again, bending that right knee, bending the left knee, right foot comes down, left foot steps back. We open those hands, back of the right arm along the inside of that right leg, left arm extends to the sky. And we rise back to warrior two. Windmilling those arms down, hand on either side of your foot, back heel comes off the mat, lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. We inhale it to high plank. How to you do with that? It's a challenging pose. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Right knee bends, left heel towards the mat. And switch, left knee bends, right heel down. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs, reach your sit bones high. And exhale, let your heels sink. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhale and sweep that left foot through. Right foot steps in to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale reverse one dive up. Bring your palms to gently touch. Interlace your fingers all but the index finger and thumb. And exhale arch it back. Gaze to the sky. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, lift to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. We're going to give that bird dog another shot. Shift your weight to your left foot, right leg lifts. Shift your weight to your right hand, left arm extends. Breathe. So another opportunity to let that body figure out how to get this done and release. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left leg lifts. Flex your foot, shift your weight to your left hand, right arm extends. Breathe. 
and release. Lift your hips to down dog. We shift our weight to our right foot. Left toes to the sky. Exhale and sweep that left foot through. Circle those arms back and overhead to our crescent lunge. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Find your breath. Find a focal point out in front. Shift your weight forward. Open those arms out to a T. And let's come forward up onto that left leg. Square the pelvis. Add a flex of that right foot and hinge as deeply into warrior three as you wish. Let's sweep those arms back to flight. Shoulders roll back, palms open to the sky. Breathe. Opening those arms back out to a T, bending your supporting leg. Giant step back to warrior one. Inhale, straightening that front leg a little. And exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. Stay low, bring your palms to touch. Interlace the fingers all with the index finger and thumb. And as you exhale, arch it back. A little or a lot. We inhale it up nice and tall. And exhale, open to warrior two. Hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Gaze out over your front middle finger. Left elbow, left knee. Right arm circles up and over. Long diagonal line, all the way down that right side. Circling that right arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back, left hand reaching in front and through. Can you find your fingertips? Lock them if you can find them. And work to roll that right shoulder back, gaze up over that right shoulder. And again, you can stay here. Or our bird of paradise, we turn and take our gaze out in front of those left toes. We shift our weight forward, drawing that back foot in, and then shifting the weight to that right foot, left big toes, gently touching. When you're ready, slowly begin to rise. Core strong. And extend left leg, flexing your foot. Bending that left knee, bending the right, left foot toes down, giant step back. Releasing the hands, back of the left arm, along the inside of that left leg, right arm to the sky. Breathe. And we rise to warrior two. Windmill those arms down, hand on either side of your foot. Lift your hips, sweep it back, and extend. Left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Inhaling to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. What do you think of that bird of paradise? Challenging. And down dog. Taking a gaze between your hands. Walk your feet in to forward fold. Let's open up those feet to about hip width apart. And we're going to bend those knees. We're going to place our hands to the mat. Spreading your hands to about shoulder width apart. We're going to slowly tip forward, placing the knees to the triceps. You can come up by your armpits or you can be down towards the base of the elbows, gazing forward, slowly, slowly, transitioning your weight forward. I would recommend a pad underneath your forehead if you've never come to crow pose before. Find your breath. Gently release. Press it back to a yogi squat. Let's do that again. Place the hands down. Lift your bum, place those knees right up by the armpits, or you can go wider and down by the base of the triceps, just above those elbows. And we transition the weight forward. We don't wanna jump in, we just wanna transition slowly. Feet go wider about the width of your mat and lower down to a deeper yogi squat. Nice work, crow pose, breathe. Interlace your fingers, press your palms out, pull them in to heart center, interlace, press them out, pull them in to heart center, one more time, press them out, 
Release your hands and extend those legs. Breathe. Let's flip the backs of the hands to the mat, bringing those hands to about shoulder width apart, and then slowly begin to lift, pressing the backs of the hands against the earth, just stretching through those wrists. Stretching through the hamstrings, and then gently release. Heel toe those feet in to hip width apart, and then ever so slowly, lower down. Oh, a nice tight little ball. And then once again, extend. Forward fold, walk, step, or hop. It's a high plank. We got one more. Crocodile down. Who can forget a pigeon? Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. Let's shift our weight to our left foot. Right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right knee through. Foot to the inside to pigeon. Breathe. Let's slowly walk it out. You can either extend those arms out long or stack your hands and relax the weight of the head down. It's time to chill. You can always stack a blanket, a pillow, or a block underneath that right hip for support. We just want to do our very best not to list over onto that hip unless you are caring for your knee. So definitely taking the weight to the pressure off of the knee if it's telling you that this is not a good place to be. And let's slowly walk the hands back up. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, sweep it back and extend right leg to the sky. Add a flex of your foot, a roll of the ankle, both directions, and a little shake of your leg. And then gently release it down. Holding your down dog or one half low, inhale to high plank, crocodile down. Press it through up dog, and exhale to down dog. And we shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left knee through, foot to the inside, to our pigeon. Taking care of that knee, coming over onto your hip if you need to. Coming down to sleeping pigeon, either fully extending those arms or stacking your hands. Just allowing yourself to gently surrender into this stretch. And let's go ahead and walk those hands back up. Tuck your back toes, lift your hips, sweep it back, extend, left leg to the sky, flex your foot. Give that ankle a roll a couple times in each direction. Give that leg a little shake and then gently release it down. Breathe. Let's walk those feet in one step, bend the knees, lowering down to a hovering tabletop. Breathe. Lifting out of the shoulders, lengthening through the crown of the head. One final strength challenge. Breathe. Let's open up those knees, untuck those toes, press it back to extended child's pose, forehead to the mat. We bring the palms of the hands to touch, forearms to the mat, bending the elbows, and drawing the heels of the hands towards the back. And we breathe. Taking all the time here you need. Slowly extending those arms. We 
Just slowly walk those hands back up. Let's come over onto a hip. Sweep the feet around. And let's turn and face once another once again. Sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes, rest your hands comfortably. Turn your palms to the sky. Have a gentle touch of your index finger and thumb if you are comfortable doing so. Otherwise, just a comfortable place for the hands to rest. Relax your jaw. Did you find that smile by yourself? Breathe. Quieting the mind, quieting the body. A few moments to focus on the breath, to let go of the external world. A moment of gratitude for the willingness of the mind, the body, and the breath to work together. Create beautiful, strong asanas, fun and challenging poses, finding a space for the mind and the body. Gently bring the hands to heart center. Gently lift the base of the thumbs towards the center of your forehead to your third eye and just a gentle pressure. Acknowledging your strength. Gently moving the hands back to heart center, open those beautiful eyes, and just a quick thank you for joining me today. I hope this was fun. I hope it was challenging. I hope you had a blast, and I hope your smile lasts all day long. Take care of yourself. Be well. And until the next time, take flight.